I started painting again in 2000, actually in 99. After 10 years, I started painting again. Yes, my first painting was terrible. <laughs> I was so stiff. Because it's, it's like, I mean, it's, it's your whole body is involved in it. Okay, I was a different person, but I lost the skill that I had when I stopped. And I think it's taken me at least 10 years to get that skill back. That, nat that skill that just comes naturally. You don't have to think about it too much. I always say to my students, there's, there's four uh, learning curves. You don't know that you don't know. You know that you don't know. You know that you know, and you don't know that you know. So that takes time. So I'm now at the last one where I don't know that I know. So I can just do it. I don't have to analyze every single thing I do. I do, I do analyze my work. I, I, use, I paint with my emotion and stuff, but then when I stand back, it becomes a logical sequence of thoughts. This is how I used to paint many, many years ago. This was in, I think it's 1984, 85. I won, in those days it was called the Volkskast Atelier for painting. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's still me. It's still the textures and the color and everything. But it's very dark. It's very dark. Because at this time in my life, I, I was reflecting what was going on inside of me. So I've got a bit of a hectic story. Like I, I grew up uh, with quite a lot of abuse, uh, emotional and, and physical, and without going too much into it, but like basically um, my dad was an alcoholic and um, because there was no protection from a young age, I was sexually abused. And when I was 15, I was, they raped and I fell pregnant and then lost the baby at six, uh, seven months later. Um, obviously with that and everything else that went on, um, I was a very angry person, very, very, very angry. And my art reflected that anger. Um, this specific painting, the name of this painting was uh, Indian, Indian, what did you die for? Nothing at all. A lot of my work sold. And a lot of the work I made in that time, because it was dark, because I was dark inside, I was angry and dark. People tend to buy stuff that talks to them. So a lot of the work spoke about the darkness and the anger, but they were still a seeking for some light. That's where the darkness was. And there was other paintings as well. And a lot of it is about the exposure is like the rawness of yourself out there and there's no protection. There's nothing beautiful, it's ugly. And I, I came to a point where I didn't want to paint anymore because everything that I painted was just dark and negative and I mean, I, I wasn't doing anything for society. I wasn't bringing hope, I wasn't bringing life. I remember listening to something on the radio and the guy was talking about, it, it was actually like some preach or something, and the guy was talking about the doorway, that we go through the door into a different life. And I was like, I, I don't want this life. I, I don't want to feel this misery. I don't want to share my misery. I, I want there's, surely there's more to life than this. I mean, I was 20 something and I'd been wanting to end my life since I was five. I remember listening to this preach and I had this one big canvas and I ended up making this massive painting and it took me like three hours and I finished this whole big painting. You can see on the outside is the dark, see? And the light 
and the movement and the texture. And I did that, I didn't know what it meant. Then many, many years later, I heard the story. The guy who started the Scouts in um, England, on his gravestone, it doesn't have any words, it's only got a sign like that. And apparently the sign means, gone home. So the painting is called Gone Home. So this is life as we know it now. And I'm looking through the door of life into where I'm going. And this is not home. This is home. This is a hope and a future. This is what it's about. So I've never been able to sell this. I, 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 I can't sell it. It's too important for me because this was the beginning of the change. And this was also, it was, I mean, this was a long time ago, probably, I don't know, 20 years ago, I painted this. And, but after this, I, I, I stopped painting for 10 years because I needed that time to settle things in myself. It wasn't, a, it just happened. It wasn't a, I mean, I ended up working in, and design and I did wine labels and read, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I learned a lot at the time. If I seek the light, then I can push away the darkness. And, and I mean, for me, because of my life, because of the way the things that happened to me was very dark and, and, and very bad and very terrible, I, I needed to push that away. That, that I'm not the person that feels sorry for myself but I can rather give, create something that brings life and change. I wanted it to matter. You know, life is short. I'm, I'm 54. I'm going to be 55 this year. I could honestly say I've really only lived my life. I really lived since I was 40. Like 40 was a big change for me. And, and thank you once I married a good man who put up with me and encouraged me to keep on painting and loves what I do and supports me. I want to share life and life. I want to make something that makes you think, makes you hope, and makes you look for something better. So yeah, so I think I'm, I'm now back at the skill that I level I had when I did this. Maybe still not the confidence, I don't know. I'm more humble now, I think. I wasn't very humble then. So, but yeah, but I love what I do. I'm blessed, I love what I do.